All right, so we're gonna make this thing happen right now. We're at the Burbank Rifle Club's range. Uh, above Magic Mountain, which we should swing by when we're done here. Yes, yeah? yes okay. please. Hopefully we don't clip anybody. <laughs> that would be a shame. With if like respawn murdered somebody today. I don't, I don't want that to happen. Uh, but we're actually joined by an expert. Obviously no one's gonna let us shoot their guns, especially not Top Shot <laughs> without somebody <laughs> keeping an eye on us. So Dennis, hop in here. Uh, Dennis is a gun extraordinaire and he's gonna be the one a, he's gonna be teaching us how to do this, and B, he's gonna be judging us, all right? Because basically we wanna know who's the actual top shot here. Dennis, who would you say is doing the best right, so Yeah, far? right out of the gates, who would you give the... Well, there's one hand up, uh -huh. so the A for effort. Yeah. And, you know, but we'll like, see. But oh. you, the other guys Dennis have wins cool. Again. He wins everything. He wins everything. Bing, bing, bing. All right, so what are we kicking it off with? Today, we're gonna start off with the pistol that we do the top shot qualifications with. Okay. The M92 uh, Beretta semi-automatic pistol. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna be shooting what, what, uh, what is that, 10, 10 20,000 yards and a half? Give or take a couple thousand. I think we're actually right. shooting at those targets, like the ones. Oh, oh these right here? Yeah. It's gonna be so oh, it's a, it's a pistol. So easy. It's not, it's just, bing. Dennis, I don't know if you know this, but uh, we are all expert marksman in Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Which will definitely translate here. I don't think he's impressed. I don't think he's, he's impressed at all. All right, let's impress him. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Stage one, Beretta M9. Yeah. I'm the top shot here. Dennis, what's our challenge? All right, guys. We're gonna be doing a actual pre-top shot test. For your challenge, you're gonna be taking the Beretta M9, firing 10 rounds, and trying to make the smallest possible group on this target. Good? Let's lock and load. All out. And the winner is right there. God, Top shot. Well, Stage two, cold 45. What's our challenge, Dennis? Well, you're gonna do the same thing so you all get a chance to redeem yourselves. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. You guys are going down again. Alright, Colt 45. Dennis, what do you think? Yeah, let's take a look. I like what I see. A couple of misses there though, so I think the man with the sipper cup gets it for this one. Oh, yeah! Man is with the W. What are we doing next? Well, you're gonna love the next challenge. It's zombie time. 12 gauge, over under shotguns on zombie targets. I'm gonna shoot him for speed this time. I'm gonna load up two, fire on the targets, reload, fire again. Fastest guy wins. Let's go. Go!
You know I'm surgical with this, Jake. All right, so here's the results for the browning over under stage stage three. That's so not the way it is in Call of Duty at all. <laughs> Go f*** yourself, Manners. Dennis, what's our next challenge? <laughs> okay, so the boys have mastered the browning over under. Now it's time to shoot zombies from behind barricades. This time, they get to use a Spaz 12 shotgun. You're gonna come around, all the way around, and engage that thing. Three rounds, and hold it tight to your shoulder. Go! It's four! You lost! Go! Having with the spas is we kept accidentally switching it to semi-automatic mode from single shot. The button that does that is under the uh, left hand there where we're cocking the gun and you can't be in semi-automatic mode if you're not firing high power rounds. You need that extra oomph to cycle the next round into the chamber. So yeah. All right, so we just got done with the Spaz 12. We are professionals now, so it is no longer the Spaz 12. We don't call it the Spaz anymore. We know what we're doing. Sort from of. this day forth, let it be known. The spas. What about our scores though? Is an S or a Z at the end? Do you guys? It's an S. See how Spas. How we did? Thought he was a professional. Spas. Two prof uh, professional. We kind of failed. So I yeah. did bad. You did bad, and you. A whole lot of fail. I did bad, but I won. Yay! And that's all that matters, right? It's the American so, dream. I basically sucked the least. Is how I would sum up my winning of that contest. So. Which is uh, sort of embarrassing. I love the shotties. And you love to suck. The spaz is spas. Sorry, I apologize. The spas. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. But that's how are you? How how are we doing right now? I mean, we're gonna wrap up this episode. I'm feeling confident going into this I, the second round of stages. And I hear we're shooting an AK next. Mm. Um, hey, that's what Should happens, man. Wearing... When you're in, when you're in Muffs? battle. Uh, ooh. Should we? No, you shouldn't be wearing earmuffs, manners. Embrace it. Love it. Smell of cordite. And flies. Yeah. All right. Well, so far, unofficially, off the top of my head, I think Nanners and I are tied, and Hutch has got a goose egg. I'm tied for last. We're with myself. We're gonna continue this in the next episode, though. AK-47. See you guys next time. <laughs>you want a first look at Modern Warfare 3, you're looking at it. If you want a second look, you're going to have to be at COD XP with us beginning of September. Modern Warfare Multiplayer Reveal. We're giving away tickets. You can come chill with us. 16 tickets. 80 of you guys will be flying out on our dime, staying in hotels on our dime. Celebrities. But you got to be a member of the Respawn Army if you want to hang, so keep your eyes on the spawn point over on the app for more details. Camaraderie.